According to a report in Deadline, Universal Pictures has a short list of, of potential directors for its upcoming Fifty Shades of Grey sequel, 50, <laughs> <laughs> 50 Shades Darker. The report claims that the head of that list is James Foley, who directed the iconic classic Glen Gary Glen Ross, as well as a dozen episodes of the hit show House of Cards. As some of you will remember, Fifty Shades of Grey director Sam Taylor Johnson and screenwriter Kelly Marcel departed the franchise after highly publicized conflicts with the original novel writer E.L. James, which led to James hiring her own husband to take over the screenwriting duties for the sequel. <laughs> Schnepp, would you buy or sell James Foley directing Fifty Shades Darker? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, Ray, that was a great picture of James Foley. That made me laugh. Um, <laughs> uh, no, I sell it. Uh, I don't, even, I don't even know how to deal with this as a real <laughs> movie question. Or it's like, it seems so silly. I, Mark did the research on the husband. What did, what's he written? Uh, he's written a lot of like TV episodes. That's not um, what you said. Of, <laughs> of, <laughs> <laughs> That's not what you said in the pre-production. I meeting. necessarily haven't heard. It's like, it's everything in the resume. It's like TV shows that sound like they could be shows, but something I've never heard of. It's like Man of War or like, you know, Octopus Fever. It's like, wait, is that a real show or is that almost close to a real show? That's I don't right. know if it's in entirely made up but he does have a resume to speak of i i'm gonna buy this i'm go, i'm gonna buy this. look forget what you think about the 50 shades of gray franchise or anything is bringing on the guy who has been directing house of cards and the guy who directed glenn gary glenn, glenn ross is that a good move hell yes it's a good move it, it is is it a good move for him well that's another discussion for another day but is it a good move yeah and and i do know this i know batman versus superman was very active to try to make sure they didn't have their same release date <laughs> on the date of of the 50 shades of gray um and look the first one despite the mocking and the joking that we do the first one made over 570 million dollars worldwide I will never do that in my lifetime. So, I mean, so of course they're moving forward with this. But yeah, this this looks like the behind the scenes stuff of the 50 Shades franchise looks like a comedy movie being made about a bunch of incompetent people making a movie franchise. Mm -hmm. I mean, the fact that first of all you have this writer who was just writing Twilight fan fiction and it turned turned into 50 Shades of Grey. Someone just changed the names now it's 50 Shades of Grey. And now this person has the power to throw out established, accomplished screenwriters and the directors and hires her own resume-less husband to come into... I mean, this you, you can't write this stuff. It sounds perfect. It sounds like pure <laughs> cinema. Like I, it's like they're, they're conducting a course on how to do everything wrong. <laughs> but, but you bring in the Glenn Gary, Glenn, Glenn Ross director, you're right. doing something right. If he accepts it, that'll be an interesting move. It'll be an interesting move. What do you think? Yeah, I wouldn't say it might be the right move for James Foley, but I'd buy it as far as that production, trying to get a director of the caliber of James Foley, who's done House of Cards recently. So, yeah, the guy has... Clearly, he's able to take material and turn it into something that will reach its potential. Now, what that material is going to be with Fifty Shades Darker, we have no idea what E.L. James and her husband are cooking up. I mean, as it stands right now, I was not a huge fan of Fifty Shades of Grey. I think it was the worst thing I've ever seen, but it wasn't good at all. I'd rather go see Ice Cubed than Fifty Shades Darker. <laughs> so, I mean, I, I, I want to see Ice Cubed regardless. Yeah. Oh, okay, here's the thing, though. I can totally see a mover, or he's like sitting down, James Foley sits down with Universal in the room. E.L. James is in there and whatever. And they say, okay, we would like you to direct this movie. And he says, okay, fine. But then he turns to E.L. James. But she keeps her mouth shut and she stays the F out of my way. And if that happens... Then who knows? Maybe they'll be able to do something decent with this. Right. Or you get points on the back end or you work out some sort of deal where it's like, <laughs> I just make this money. But, you know, look, the, the E.L. James is one thing. Her The fact that her husband is punching up the screenplay. When you're a husband and you're married to somebody who's writing this kind of stuff, you just go with the tide, man. You're like, really? You want to get darker with this? <laughs> yeah, I'll take a crack at it. See what happens. Check it out. Ice cubed, right? <laughs> Ice tea and vanilla ice are like the Miami Vice team. They're like on a mission to stop Ice Cube and his son. Ice Cube Jr. Now it's and then it's a battle. Ice Quad. Ice Quad. Okay, somebody has to make us an Ice Cubed poster. Somebody <laughs> please. please make us an Ice Cubed poster.